I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the September 9th, 2017 edition of the weekly investment news show. I win TV, where you win because we use algorithms, not people, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We're the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV, who might have a hidden agenda, when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Which company can you find Retail out there right now that has a 25% and gold is up 50%? It wouldn't be a total crap. shock. Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by risk in the equity markets and interest rate risk. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. As you can see there are currently 50 stocks in the portfolio with 76% winners and 24% losers. The average winning return is 47% with the best stock NVIDIA, returning 570% since it came into the portfolio about two years ago followed closely by AMD which is up 444% since it came into the portfolio about a year and a half ago. The average loss is 4% with the worst stock BlackBerry losing 19% since it was purchased over 3 months ago. If you've been watching iWin TV you'll remember several weeks ago the natural selection algorithms began selling stocks in the financial sector. This week that selling continues with the sale of Lincoln National Corporation and Morgan Stanley. This week the natural selection algorithms bought Alcoa Corporation and Facebook. So now for a read of the equity markets. The risk in the equity markets remained elevated again this week. The risk level of the Dow Jones Industrial Average remained flat at low risk, while the S&P 500 remained flat at moderate risk. The risk level of the Nasdaq 100 and the Russell 2000 remained flat at high risk. And now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk shows interest rates transitioned to low risk over five weeks ago. Your government treasury investments should be fine for the near term. Several weeks ago, we published a special edition of iWin TV, where we discussed cryptocurrencies. Are they overvalued? Click on the link in the comments below, or click on the link above, to learn more about cryptocurrencies and their current valuation. That is all for this week, September 9, 2017. Until next week, we'll be watching the markets for you. To bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. I win TV. See what others can't.